several people gathered at Wild Birds Unlimited in Pleasant Hill on the last Saturday of February 97. Young and old alike enjoyed the mild weather waiting the event that Shirley said, spring is just around the corner. Mike Williams, co-owner of the store, welcomed everyone as he introduced Bob Gendron. This young man is considered one of the experts in California on monarch butterflies. Gendron, a San Ramon Valley High School graduate, now attending Diablo Valley College, has been a butterfly enthusiast for nearly seven years. My name is Bobby Gendron and I'm 18 years old. I live in Danville and I run a company with Tim Nash called GN Butterfly Farm and we raise butterflies and milkweed and we also tag the butterflies for studies. However, not just for studies, but also weddings, funerals, and in this case, public demonstration. Okay, this is a monarch butterfly right here. And this is a live butterfly that we are going to be banding today. To further study the insect, Gendron spent the prior week in Mexico, where he and 10 other researchers tagged butterflies in three colonies inhabiting 20 to 40 million monarchs. So why was Bob about to release about 50 more into the world? Well, we've been doing releases for about a year now, and Wild Birds Unlimited, when I told them about it, was really interested. There's a lot of public interest in butterflies, and releases are a way of getting people together and educating them about butterflies and what we need to do to protect them and help them. Most of the monarchs instantly took to the nearby trees, but to much surprise, some landed on unsuspecting spectators. When the butterfly landed on my nose, I just, I thought, there's a butterfly on my nose, and it, it, it didn't like tickle or anything. It just stayed there. I loved it. I chased butterflies all over the place. I've been to uh, Pacific Grove and Santa Cruz, out to Pinole. I collect butterflies, so it's been a dream that one would land on me. Gendron said his primary goal for raising monarch butterflies is to preserve them for generations to come. Reporting for Channel 6 News, I'm Scott Hayden.